Previously on Survivor, with the merge in full swing, the former Roxboro tribe found themselves in the minority. Honestly, we do really look for the idol. At the challenge, Timmy defied all odds to claim the immunity necklace. Back at camp, Jasmine made a move to secure her future. He that is what I'm thinking. Yeah, the only way to get out of sunshine for sure. You need a first person. At Tribal Council, Timmy dropped a bomb on the majority alliance. But in the end, they stuck together and voted Jaleesa out of the tribe. Eight are left. Who will be voted out tonight? All right, you have arrived at the final eight. Half of you are gone, half of you remain. I'll take back the immunity necklace. Thank you. All right, are you guys ready to get to your next immunity challenge? This challenge is called Witch Hunt. For today's challenge, you will listen to a story about an escape to freedom in the city of Philadelphia. At the conclusion of this story, you will race to one of four question stations where you'll answer a question about what you just heard. After you answer a question, you'll choose a package and race back to your start platform to open it. If your answer is correct, you'll find a gold necklace and add it to your collection. If not, you must go back and choose a different answer. The first two players to return with all of their necklaces will win this challenge. However, today, immunity is not up for grabs. Nobody will be safe at tonight's tribal. So what are you playing for today? The two winners of this challenge are playing for power and they're playing for opportunity. At various points in this game, players banked their vote, placed it in this time capsule to gain power in the game. That power is about to be unleashed back on the game. No one will be safe at tonight's Tribal Council, but each of the winners of this challenge will earn one of two extra votes banked at previous Tribal Councils, and they'll be extra useful because each of you will be heading to separate Tribal Councils to each vote somebody out of this game. So we're gonna end up with two groups of four, each voting somebody out of this game. The person who wins the challenge overall will earn, again, the most valuable thing in this game, time. The tribe that wins will head back to camp and strategize. The tribe that loses will head straight to Tribal Council, where you will have an open discussion about who to eliminate. So no one will be safe tonight, but two players will have extra votes, only good at this split Tribal Council. Big enough stakes? <laughs> Too big. All right, we'll draw for spots and we will get it started. All right, I'm gonna read you a story about Henry Box Brown who escapes to Philadelphia to seek freedom. Henry Box Brown was an abolitionist speaker and performer. He was born in Louisa County, Virginia. Brown worked in a Richmond tobacco factory. In 1848, his wife and children were sold away to North Carolina. Brown decided to escape from slavery and enlisted the help of a free black and white slave owner who conspired to ship him in a box to Philadelphia. Many enslaved people did not know their parents or siblings. 
but Brown spent his formative years with his parents and his four sisters and three brothers. They were all enslaved, belonging to John Barrett, a former mayor of Richmond. After Barrett's death on June 9, 1830, Brown was separated from his family and sent to Richmond to work in the tobacco factory of Barrett's son, William Barrett. In 1836, Brown married Nancy, an enslaved woman owned by a different master, and together they had three children. The family joined the first African Baptist church where Henry Brown sang in the church's choir. He had become a skilled tobacco worker and earned enough money through overwork to rent a house for his family. In August 1848, Nancy Brown's master sold her and her three children to another master in North Carolina. At the time, she was pregnant with a fourth child. After mourning his loss for several months, Brown decided to escape from slavery. Through James Caesar Anthony Smith, a free black man and fellow member of the church choir, he contacted Samuel Alexander Smith. Smith was a white shoemaker who agreed to help Brown escape for a price. The three men rejected several possible plans before Brown developed an inventive idea. He decided to be shipped in a box by train to Philadelphia. On March 23, 1849, the Smith sealed Brown into a wooden box three feet long, two and a half feet deep, and two feet wide. The package was labeled as dry goods before being shipped from Richmond to Philadelphia. Brown was turned head down in the box for several hours and nearly died. At other transfers, the box was roughly handled, but he endured silently. The package finally arrived in Philadelphia early on March 24th. At the office of the Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery Society, the box was opened hesitantly. After 26 hours of confinement, Brown emerged alive and free. I had risen as if it were from the dead. So you're going to be quizzed on what you just learned. I hope you remembered. Survivors ready? Go! This challenge is a race to try to collect those four correct answers and bring them back. Everybody heading out to a different station. Timmy, the first to emerge, sprinting back, trying to get that necklace. Ryan coming back. Sunshine, sprinting past. Robinette and Gabe heading back. Timmy's back with his second correct answer. He's halfway there. Paige got her second answer. She's halfway there. Ryan with his second. He's in third. Manfred with his second. He is in fourth. You can see the fatigue on the faces of these survivors as they have been going. They have not stopped all day. Ryan's back, he's got his third, Paige has got her third. Manford back with his third. It's Ryan, Paige, and Manford right now. Timmy back with his third. Timmy's got three, he's got one more to go. Ryan back with his last. Ryan wins this challenge. We're looking for one more. One more winner today. Two people will win this challenge. Manfred back with his last. Manfred wins the challenge. Ryan and Manfred take home the win today. Oh my God. Do we need medical for Timmy? What do you need? You rolled your ankle? Does it really hurt? Yeah. yeah. Getting worse or getting better? Same? Okay. All right, everybody stop. We need medical now. Yeah, I rolled you real bad, though. Yeah, I'll go get a bag of ice. Need some water? Yeah. Yeah. You want to put it in the elevator? Let it fall. I rolled it like it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you want to bring the whole thing over? Bring it all over. I'll get another water thing. Yeah, another big jug. Can you bring it over? Thank you. Anybody else? More water? Refill? Guys, we're going to be on lockdown real quick while we resolve this. We need a side conversation. Timmy, you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling better with the ice on it, but I, I need to roll it pretty bad, I would say. I'm all right though. So you were trying, you were giving everything in this challenge. Yeah, I was running. 
All right, Dr. Amanda, talk me through what's happening right now. Are you pulling him from the game? I wonder if maybe, so um, if maybe you can stay in without putting a lot of weight on yeah. it, and maybe in other challenges, if it involves running, not, not, not push that. All right. More water? <laughs> Keep it on there, because they're in the bathroom. You're good. All right, so we just had a crazy challenge. You guys were sprinting into the sun. I can tell you all want it bad. Timmy, you went down after the challenge. What happened? I was running to the last station, and I was running a little too hard. And my ankle just like under my leg, but you know, I tried it as best as I could. I think I ended up a little behind the winner, so I'm so happy. Feeling good? Yeah, feeling good. All right, good. we are all in this together. So Ryan and Manfred, you guys won the challenge. Ryan, you won overall. So each of you will earn extra vote at tonight's Tribal Council. You can both join me up here, Ryan here, Manfred here. Extra vote for you, extra vote for you. These votes can only be used at tonight's Tribal Council. Now, earlier in the season, we did a schoolyard pick shame. Where you chose someone, they chose the next person. However, today we're gonna twist it up. Ryan, you win the challenge overall, so you will make the pick. Manfred's on a tribe already. Instead of choosing someone to join you on your tribe, you're gonna choose someone to join Manfred's tribe. The person that you choose will then pick someone to be on your tribe. So you have no direct control over who ends up on your tribe, but the person that you pick will have all of the control. So do you want to pick your ally, somebody who may reward you with a good pick? Or do you want to pick your target, get them away from you so they can't target you? It's a very complex decision in a very complex game. So Ryan, you're going to make the first pick. Who would you like to pick to join Manfred's tribe? Paige. Paige going to tribal tonight with Manfred. Paige, you are now in charge. You're picking someone to go to tribal with Ryan. Sunshine, going over to Ryan's tribe. Sunshine, you got four options. You're picking someone to go to tribal with Manfred and Paige. I'm gonna pick... Timmy. Timmy's going over to Manfred's tribe. We have three choices left. Timmy, you are choosing somebody to join Ryan and Sunshine. Heading over, third member. Now, Gabe, this is the most important pick because you're choosing someone to go to Manfred's tribe, but you're also selecting the last person to join you on your tribe. So who would you like to choose to send to Manfred's tribe? Send Robinette. Robinette going over to Manfred's tribe. That means Jasmine, you will join Gabe, and we have got our two tribes. Now, Ryan, since you won the challenge overall, you have won time. Your tribe will go back to camp and strategize. The four of you are heading directly to tribal where you will have an open discussion about who will be the next person voted out. Ryan Manfred, you each have extra votes, but you do not have safety. It is 3.28 p.m. and the game is on. So Manfred, your tribe's going right to tribal. You guys can head back to camp. I will see you all at tribal council where two people will be going home. You guys can head on out. I feel like a target has been painted on my back out of nowhere. I've been trying to play this low-key game, and somehow I became the target. But luckily for me, Ryan also won a challenge as well. So he was able to fill my team with people I trusted and needed. So I'm just on top of the world right now. So we'll see what happens. So we had this player pick them again where we got to pick someone to go to their tribal and vice versa. What a twist, what a twist. It ended up, the numbers ended up pretty good in my favor for this one because it's myself and Ryan. Ryan has an extra vote and I feel like he's going to be voting with me. Can we just pretend this is the final vote? <laughs> <laughs> right. Regardless of how I ended up swapping, as long as someone won the challenge with the extra vote, as long as I was good with that person, that's all that I cared about. 
Alright, I guess, do we just want to do one-on-ones? Like, is that cool? I think that's probably I'm, I'm down to do that, honestly. Yeah, I think like that's the best yeah. bet. So, for this vote, of course, I want to feel safe because I won that challenge. But I don't have an immunity necklace around my neck. Of course, I wish I did. I feel like I kind of earned it, but, you know, we got to play the game. The game right now did not give me immunity for winning that challenge. So. Alright, sunny sunshine. You know me? Yeah. Two rounds. Yeah. Jazzy, Gabe, we'll talk. Yeah. So I feel like this round was just like we decided to do one on ones. I didn't one on one with Gabe, but I felt like at first we had trust and like I was really working with him and then he just decided to go the other way. So at this point, like I know we're the minority and I feel like it's gonna be one of us. They're trying to get us all to um I mean they wanna keep green strong. Yes. And I feel like me and you haven't been on the same page and it's just because I've been playing for my life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It, it hasn't been like that I haven't wanted to work yeah. with or anything. It's just like I feel like we've just kind of been on the opposite side. I cannot even believe I'm still here in round eight. It's it honestly is surreal. I just feel like one of these like these big guys they say they want to go to the end with each other But no, they don't want to sit next to each other one of them someone's gonna want to make a flip I'm gonna be there right for the flip. I just feel like so are you what are you thinking? Should we make a move on these big guys? I or? would love to make a move. But it's just is it gonna work? I feel like they're scared of me getting to the final three But it's like you'll see how I am in challenges like What's been keeping me here is me being social. That's literally it. So I'm hoping that I can still use that. Hey, I'm not good at challenges. You should keep me because I haven't won any yet. And hopefully, like, keep me here. I don't know. They also have an extra vote. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But let's say, let's say Ryan like does his the same. Me or you. Oh yeah, they're definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's between me. And you. See this? This can be super cut and dry. I can burn this right now. We can just vote out Jasmine. Yeah. Is that what we want to do? Yeah. So let me. It keeps your eye on with us, yeah. and he's not gonna target you or myself. Yeah. Or uh, Gabe, Gabe. Yeah, yeah, Gabe, yeah, yeah, Gabe. Yeah, yeah. So we just gonna throw votes on each other and just, you know, call it like a truce, or do we want to try to? I think we should try to make a move. I think we should try. I mean, at this point, why quit? So I've always been like a social person, like always. So I feel like me being really personable, like everybody's been telling me like i just love your vibe like i feel like you have such good vibes you have such good vibes and i feel like that's taking me far but at the same time they might break me towards the end because they're like everybody's gonna vote for her because they like her but i'm still gonna fight for it so is it that easy though i see i'm not gonna say easy like it's, of course it's complex i want to send jasmine home because yeah, cause, well if we send if we send gabe home that's kind of like ruffle our relationship with yeah i don't want to do that and like I was looking at now, they're expecting the Jazz goes home. Well. They're expecting the Jazz goes home, but I want to play end game here too. Mm -hmm. So who would you rather? I'm thinking... Ryan is the double vote. Probably, probably Sunshine. So if it's me, you, well, well I'm saying if it's me, you Sunshine, even if he has a double vote, that's still only, it's still 3-2. If it's me, you Sunshine. I mean, I guess, I mean, we could do Sunshine and then it's 4-2, to 4-1, to but... Maybe, I'm, that's a what, Whatever you want to tell me. No, I'll, you could try to pitch it, I don't I, know. I'll I'll think need to, I, I think I really need to, like, think first. No, I so, think. when you talk to them and when you come back, if you just give me a name, I'll vote whoever. Okay. So just flash me and back. Whatever one you decide between them two, all right. Let me know. Hold on. Let me see. We do this right here. Yeah. And it's the you want to take him to the phone? Easy. 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 I'm down for that. Cool. I'm so down for that. You guys want me in a final three? You know I'm entertaining it. I don't. I, not that I don't think I can beat them, because honestly I'm gonna pull out some crazy cards at tribal. Like, no one knows I'm a private investigator. No one knows I've been sitting back and just observing and watching everyone, see who's bonding with who, see who's connecting with who. I, I just feel like if I can get there and pitch my story, I think I might have a chance at this. It's fun, you know? No. nervous i feel like this could be my last <laughs> tribal council and because i'm the girl they might just like let's just get her out got the jazz. hey talk to me girl oh boy i know it's between me and um okay. game. yeah what are y'all thinking like honestly honestly like I'm, I'm thinking two things number one what, what's good with this extra vote is it useful right now is it useful like, for me to give to you for me to give to i'm not gonna say it. of course like i would like to use it for myself like i don't have safety right now no, I'm, at this point i'm just trying to make sure i'm safe so whatever yeah. you need me to do okay i think there's some blurred lines um you know not 
not talking like blurred lines, <laughs> but like blurred lines where it's a little less uh, euphoric. I wanted to ask you too. Did um, did anybody find Nine at Roxboro? No. We didn't find it. Okay, so actually, I'll tell you too. So Timmy was saying like when, so basically, um, Mary, he when he first got it, he had an idol. So you guys like were the six Amir, people yes, to run. The so you did too. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. Both me and Amir, both Timmy's Amir definitely put you out. He's like, yeah, just let you guys know, Ryan does I have know. an idol. And I was like, okay. But, um, he said that at the swap. Yeah. Apparently, when Timmy came over to the Roxboro tribe and said, hey, Ryan also has an idol. When in reality, Timmy saw Ryan play that idol at that tribal council. I had nothing at that point, so I'm just kind of wondering why Timmy would say something like that. He saw me use it before then. Though. No, that's what he told us, so I guess maybe that was his game plan. I can't trust him. Damn. I hope Ryan believed me because I told him a very good, very good information about Timmy. Because at this point, again, I'm trying to save myself. And I told him information, so I'm hoping he has trust with me that I told him that information about Timmy. But I don't know, like, Gabe, I'm being very honest. Like, at this point, I'm trying to save myself. I'm worried about me. And then from there, definitely with alliances. But I feel like me and Gabe, like, at first, like, I was definitely, like, whatever Gabe, Johnny, they all wanted to do, I was with them. And then Gabe switched. Yeah. So I'm just letting you know. Okay. Just yeah. Thought. I appreciate that. It's it's tough. Like, of course, we spent some time with Gabe on our swap tribe. But that, yeah, that information sure. about cool, Timmy, but... that information about Timmy is eye-opening. Yeah. So one of two things, I think probably what I think is gonna happen. I think they're probably gonna try to get to me, especially yeah. because Manfred has your yeah. Bro, so it could just be because Robinette and Timmy have been close since minute one. Yeah. And Manfred could just be like, I have the extra vote. Yeah. Three two. I think that's what's gonna happen. Three two him and Paige on Timmy. Mhm. Mm okay. What does that look like? End game you and I then. Like if we get to six. What's, what's our I mean, plan? I work with you. Like, at this yeah. point, I'm the minority. So whoever wants to work with me, like, I'm personally down to work. It's just like, are you guys actually going to keep your word? Because I know, like, like I said, I know Purple's been out and about. Out and about. Yeah, what's up? What's up? You guys want to play Survivor? Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe next year. In the next life. Have a good one. Are you doing Just because you know I've been riding with you the whole time. You seen Boston Rob for the extra vote of the other clue to hit the volcano in Redemption Island? And we've been loyal to the soil. We've been saying that all day with Fairmount. I don't even know if I have to use this extra vote. At this point, we still need to do the extra vote. You guys just want to keep me. I think that would be the best thing, for real, challenge-wise. Y'all see how I am. Gabe, I feel like that's a better opportunity to me. Yeah. Believe them if you want to, but I feel like they're still going to, I don't know. And like I said, y'all see I'm not good at challenges, so I'll probably get myself out. <laughs> Uh, like, your story looks really good too. You came from nothing. I'm the only purple left. The, yeah, only purple left. the way this game is played out is kind of how my life has just played out. You, you come in and people, when they look at me, they kind of doubt me. They underestimate me. They might not want to socialize with me in the beginning, but I just needed time to get my footing, make those connections. And now that I've kind of shown like I'm here to play, people gravitate. You gain traction and you know, understand. When, when I DJ, and people would come into the party and ignore me i'd be behind the booth just straight get ignored but then once i started rocking that party that's when everyone starts coming up to me yo you're awesome you're the best dj blah 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 and that's kind of how this game is gone i'm just i you know people kind of ignore me at first and now i'm here and now everyone is like i need your vote like let's go to the end We'll now bring in the members of our jury. All right, four people at this tribal. You were split into two groups today. We've got all Fairmount, all day. So Manfred, you've got two votes at this tribal, but you don't have safety. So if the other three want to gang up on you, they could. So how are you feeling about this war? Yeah, it's scary that I have two votes, but I'm not necessarily safe. Um, so definitely a little scared, um, but I trust in the relationships that I've made thus far to get me through another tribal. Does anybody want to jump in with how they're feeling? You can talk to them. This last tribal, I think it was pretty clear. Um, I made a move to go for Manfred. I think that's the same thing I'm going to do today. Manfred isn't safe. I know that after this round, um, it'll be down to just a couple people. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. 
if um, there's bigger threats out there that you want to take with you um, or if you want to just keep doing what you're doing and you think that's best with you um, think about it some more you know I think Tim although you have a point I also think you're a big threat so you know I got two votes last round and all bets are off right so I'll say this it'll be me tonight possibly who's it gonna be tomorrow Paige who do you feel closest to in this sport um I don't want to answer that <laughs> um me and Robinette have like we kind of hit it off right away Tim unfortunately I do feel like we hit it off at first but when you went to other tribe it just felt like you might have flipped um and I just don't know that that trust can really go up. I mean, that's fair. I've done everything I could to try to rebuild it. Didn't pick you to go into the idol challenge. I tried to protect you at every chance I had. We started the game together with the puzzle that we did. And I felt close with you. I don't think it's reciprocated in this moment. Um, and that's fine. I'll have a seat at the jury to decide the fate at the end. But we have a chance to try to fix that. At least go out on some good terms. Robinette, how do you feel about all this? I feel conflicted because I, I'm not exactly sure what I missed, but I also went to the other team and and it seemed like, yeah, ever since then it's just been a little cloudy. I, I don't know what to think. Well, uh -oh. okay, so my thought was when Natasha was voted out, you didn't vote for Natasha. I did not. Somebody did. I did you did didn't? So who voted saying. for Natasha? Yeah, I'm not sure. So she voted for herself. No, that's if she voted at all. But there were three votes against her, right? It was. It was three two. And it was six people on the tribe. And what's so your recollection? Was two. So somebody didn't vote? No, that's not right. No, it was tied. It was tied? I like was three tied to three? Like I'm being gaslit. It was tied. <laughs> I promise you I didn't vote Natasha. Well, I promise you I didn't vote Alright, it is all out on the table right now. One of you is about to get your torch snuffed. It is time to vote. Timmy, you are up first. I lied. I did vote Natasha. And I'm voting you. Somehow, I'm trying to play a low-key game, and all the attention is on me now. All right, I'll go tally the votes. All right, if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be your time to do so. All right, I'll read the votes. First vote, Timmy. It's one vote, Timmy. Manfred, it's one vote, Timmy, one vote, Manfred. Next vote, Timmy. Two votes, Timmy, one vote, Manfred. Next person voted out of Survivor of Philadelphia Now or Never is Timmy. Timmy, that's enough. Can you bring me your torch? That's all y'all. Timmy, tribe has spoken. You can take your spot over on the jury. All right, you've made up half of the final six. We'll see if you can stick together heading into the future of this game. You can grab your torches, head back to camp. We'll bring in the next group.
it was me tonight. I tried my best to acknowledge the fact that I was a threat, but then also inform people you have an opportunity to make a move. But I think Manfred is playing an amazing game. If he gets to the end, he might have my vote. I think Ryan is also playing an amazing game. It didn't work out how I wanted it to. I gave him my all, I messed up my ankle, but I have no regrets at all. I definitely feel betrayed by Sunshine. Sunshine has crossed me at every opportunity he's had. I felt close with him at the beginning of the game. I gave him a chance to work with me. He did it. When it came to the idol challenge, he put me up twice. When it came to picking which tribe I was gonna go on, he picked me to be on the tribe where I got voted out. So he's definitely somebody I feel really hurt by. And I don't know if he can repair that trust now. This message goes out to all the other black, queer, ADHD, neurodivergent people like me. I gave him my all, I'm incredibly proud. I want you to know that you can do anything you put your mind to. It might be a little hard, but I believe in you if nobody else does. And celebrate yourself. All right, so we just had our first tribal council. Timmy was voted out. We've got Ryan, Sunshine, Jasmine, and Gabe. So you guys had time to go back to camp, unlike the other tribe. So Jasmine, what happened when you went back? Um, so we all just decided, hey, it's four of us. Let's just have one on one. Exactly what we did. We all had one on one with each other and um, strategize. Ryan, you come into this vote with two votes which means you have the most amount of power, but you're not safe. If the other three want to team up on you, they still could. So how do you approach that? Yeah, it, it's about timing. Again, is this the right time to use a vote like this, to use this kind of power um, optics-wise? Three versus one against Jasmine, but as, or rather two versus two. Well, after that, geez, two versus two and I have one. But um, you never know, like you just said, the numbers are everywhere. You can literally hear from what I'm verbalizing that my mind is scrambling. You know, I see one of my, my Green Strong Fairmount members from the OG tribe sitting there. I'm, I'm a little frizzled, frazzled, but um, I, I do have this extra vote, and it's about, is it the right time to use it? Because it's the only time to use it. Jasmine, do you feel targeted in this vote? Oh, definitely. I'm the only girl, um, and Purple Team has been the minority since the beginning of the game now. So it was like, look at the jerk, all purple. So with that being said, I feel like I've been having this approach, like one, y'all see how I am in challenges. Again, that's very important for immunity. And then two, on top of it, it's just like, my word has been bond. Everything I said I would do, I did it. And you can see that. So I feel like at this point, like the conversations that I had, you guys know how I'm coming, so yeah. Sunshine, do you feel good about Jasmine? Do you feel good about keeping her through the scope? I feel like she has a good vibe. Like when we sat down and had lunch together, like I kicked it, like I think she's the person, right? Like I probably chatted with you the most during lunch because like, you were a fresh face and like you just gave off good vibes and like just good energy. So Gabe, how are you feeling in this vote? I'm feeling the same as every vote. I'm nervous. I always think it's gonna be me. That's just my anxiety running rampant. So I'm just, it's about just like calming the nerves and just like putting my vote down and praying for the best. Do you think you're gonna be successful in your plan tonight? Uh, you know, you want to hope so, but like game of Survivor, you never know what's going to happen. So I'm just praying for the best. Did you approach Ryan about his two votes and how those could be used? I mean, I, I talk to everyone about everything. You know, I'm always trying to like look at every situation. So that it got brought up a little, but I mean, I talk to everyone about everything. So you feel like if you made it, that purple wouldn't vote for you? Honestly. That's the story that you're pitching? I haven't pitched any story. I feel like if I get to the end, there's a lot of people that probably don't like me. There's probably people that want me on the jury. And at, at the end of the day, I'm just thankful to be here because I've gone to every tribal but one and my name's been written down a couple times. So I, I'm just trying to make it to the next round. I'm not even really like thinking like, what they're gonna vote for me. Then. I would hope, but. My name has been out there too. And I, I'm just saying my word has been bond. That's all I'm gonna say. Everything I've said I've done, I've done it. So with that being said, we'll see if that bond holds true tonight because it is time to vote. Ryan, you're up first. You can take the urn and go cast your vote.
Okay, um, reduce, reuse, and recycle. I don't need this tonight. I'm sorry that this is how this had to go, but I didn't come here to get to the next round. I came here to win. Jasmine, I'm sorry. It's all love. Gotta do one of those famous little Eddie Guerrero jiggles. So I hope everybody is thinking logically and really thinking. Think about it. Everybody likes everybody that's good at challenges. Huh? If you go home tonight, I'm gonna be the last person purple standing okay because my great words of Taylor Swift there's nothing I do better than revenge all right I'll go tally the votes all right if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it now would be the time to do so all right I will read the votes First vote, Jasmine. One vote, Jasmine. Next vote, Gabe. It's one vote, Jasmine, one vote, Gabe. Next vote, Jasmine. That's two votes, Jasmine, one vote, Gabe, one vote left. Next person voted out is Jasmine. Jasmine, that's enough. Need to bring me your torch? All right, Jasmine, the tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. All right, you three make up the other half of our final six. How will you mesh with the other three? We're going to find out. Grab your torches, head back to camp. No, it's, it's, it's so I could have okay. written on concrete who was going home before both of those. I tried again. I tried my best to like say, hey, I'm not good at challenges. I put that out there. I could have been a later vote with everybody. Out of like 10 out of 10, am I really going to win a challenge? We probably had a good three out of 10 that I maybe would have won an immunity challenge compared to Gabe. I feel like his is probably like maybe six, seven out of 10 where he can win immunity and then have the numbers. Honestly, I like Manfred. I love his personality. Um, I also like Paige as well. So it's between those two for me. I feel like my personality kept me. I feel like me being personable and me like, I feel like at one point I was kind of running it socially. I feel like I'm beautiful inside and out and I feel like the inside definitely shown throughout this game. And I'm so excited I got to it. Next time on Survivor. A classic Survivor challenge gets a twist on time. In which hour did this game begin? But not everyone has found their moment. I, I can't even want to say it's just like... No, my memory. The day of? So feel like... A new target emerges with a threat to win it all. I mean, it is pretty clear that Ryan came to win. But when the future is calling... Anyone can answer. You will be heading on a journey 